Hey, Raquel here. So today I'm answering the question of Catherine that the other day after a group session, she asked me about allergies. She said uh, during this time of the year in spring and especially at the beginning of spring, she usually has a lot of nose running and eyes itching. And she usually drinks some medicines that put her in a very bad state. And she, this year, she decided not to do the medicines. And she asked me, what can I do to counterbalance? What can I do to deal with the allergies and the effects of allergies? And I told her I would answer in a little video. And here I am. And I thought it was really good to share it with all of you, what I will tell her. So basically, the first thing I will suggest is that, first of all, you check what are those foods and liquids that you eat and drink that produce a lot of runny nose and stuck your nose with mucus because that's major. Uh, if you have the environment already created for anything to grow there, either even viruses, bacteria, anything to keep developing because of the mucus that you are creating, over creating, uh, that would be a big deal. And even if you are not having a, such a big allergy, you will feel that you do because your nose will be running and that will cause, cause itching. And yeah, and you won't breathe properly because you don't have enough oxygen and you won't have filters, the filters in the nose that filter the air. They're not doing their work. So you get everything through the mouth with no filter. And that's really not good for the body. So that's the first thing. Um, I would suggest that you clean your nose with a neti pot, if possible. Here's the video of the neti pot. So you can click and learn how to use a neti pot. It seems like a big deal, but it's much easier. When you start using it, you will get used to it very quickly and see how great and useful it is. So the second thing, there are two little exercises that I do and I recommend that you do it five minutes every day if you are really allergic and if you're really having running nose and especially the eyes, um, you know, teary. Um, so the first exercise, I do it even, I do it when I'm calm in the morning, but I especially do it also, I, the other day I was on the bus and I was uh, sneezing a little bit and I felt like it was a little bit allergic and I just did it and it immediately stopped the sneezing happening and it stopped the whole process of, you know, this reaction that we have. Well, it stopped it. So here's one. So you take your thumb and you place it here at the beginning of the nose here, here in the sinus area. So you, you place it here and you just go up like that. You really need to do it firmly that you feel what you're doing, but not hard that you harm yourself. There you go. You will start feeling something shift in your face something calm. So you put the clock, you can start with three minutes and check how you feel or two minutes. You check how much, how fast it works for you. You can do five minutes if you want. But if you, if you are done earlier and you feel it's much better already, you stop. Very good. So, very And if you can breathe, if it's only the eyes that are teary, you just breathe in and breathe out when you go up. So here you breathe in, place it and breathe out. Good. Remember when you breathe, you breathe in and out. You breathe in expanding your belly and you breathe out squeezing a little bit your belly. Okay, so breathe in expanding belly, a little bit chest and breathe out squeezing. So we are sure we, you're using the diaphragm muscle that is the one that is in charge of pulling the 
lungs down, giving space to the lungs for them to relax and open wide and fill them with air. So you have enough oxygen. That's very important for the body all the year, not only the, during spring. The other exercise that is also very easy and is very good is just to press here, press here at the beginning of the nose, you will feel, and you press outside, outwards. Yeah, very good, very good. Closer. Good. That's very good. And another thing also that can help is to take the time during the day to break chronic stress. Uh, one of the things when, when your body is very excited, turned on constantly with a stress, you are more proclaimed to uh, have these bursts of uh, mucus or eyes dropping, uh, tearing, or headaches, or any kind of uh, reaction of the body saying, it's too much. So you will feel that your allergy will calm down if you already have it. Doing these exercises help, but it will also calm down when you introduce any kind of practice to soothe and calm yourself down. Uh, when you're thinking and, and with, the, with the brain, like with the mind, like popcorns, the monkey mind jumping everywhere with thoughts, usually your body will have the same kinds of reactions. It will become very uh, explosive in a way. So bring calm and soothe it. That's it. I hope it's useful for you. Share it if it's useful. If there's anyone that can benefit from it, is you know an allergic person, uh, someone suffering from allergies of this kind to pollen. This is just for pollen allergy and allergies that concern all this sinus area. Okay? Thank you so much and sign up. Here, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to try the Pranayama Breathwork 7 minutes meditation that I created for you, you can sign up here in the link and you will receive it directly in your email. Okay? See you next time with more videos. Bye!